Okay, so, lots of more missions to do. Mm. Cassio, have you noticed how the monsters have been attacking more aggressively lately? Sure have! Not only do they arrive in greater numbers, but their troops are more powerful too. It really seems like we've caught the Dragon Lord's attention. We can't just sit here twiddling our thumbs while he builds up an army, Cashew. We need ready the strongest weapons and armor we can, and meet the Dragon Lord's forces head on. That's why we need to fit us out a special room to store these arms so that we can draw them at a moment's notice. I know if you put some ornamental armor and ornamental swords in the dressing room, we could use it as an armory. Please, Cashew, turn our dressing room into an armory. We need to be ready for battle at any time. Uh, well, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to have to expand on this one a little bit, I think. All right, then. I'll do that. Dragon walls down! Alright, hang on. Yes, yes, the empty room is destroyed. Get over yourselves. Alright. So, let's just go ahead and do a little bit of expansion. Going to go ahead and do that. Also, I believe I've got some flagstone flooring. There we go. That'll help. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna make this place a wee bit bigger. Grab that. Alright, now. Give a little bit of this. Uh, yeah, that'll work. That's fine. No, not you. Stop that. All right. Now we just go ahead with a little bit of this. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So then we'll put out the armoire right there. And I'll put that there. Put that there. There you go. Does it really have to be two? Like specifically two? All right, then hang on. All right, no light source. Ugh. Eh, there we go. All right, I built an empty room. Then, with this, what did I do? Hmm? Nothing. All right, then it needs two. There we go. Okay, now we've got a dressing room again, which is nice. And the floor is good. All right, now we just need some ornamental stuff. How... I'm not entirely sure why ornamental stuff is going to make that better, but there you go. Also, never made a shield. Do I have enough room for that? I sure do! Oh, I put it in the equipment bag. Yes, I did. Okay. All right. So, ornamental armor. I don't know how many of these things I'm going to need, though. Huh. Let's see. Let's see. Can I make more iron ingots? I can! I spent all my iron ingots on steel ingots. Quite unfortunate, that. All right. Now... I'm not sure if I'm going to need one or two of both, so let's go with two of each. At the very least, it's, uh, you know, more bonus points and what have you. No real problem with that. There you go. There you go. Ornamental. And there you go. All right. Then, with that, it's not just a dressing room no longer. Now, it'll be an armory as well. There you go. Place that there. And place that there. All right. Only needed the one, but I still feel pretty good about it. There you go. That's the right proper armory is what this is. Wow! This armory is exactly how I imagined it! Thank you so much! Now we'll be able to equip ourselves with stronger weapons than ever before! But still, I can't help wondering... Like what? Why weren't Kendalyn's guards able to keep the city safe? From what I've heard, there were even supposed to be a giant friendly golem guarding the town gates. And what's more, the city was very heavily fortified. Its walls should have been able to withstand almost any attack. Wouldn't that have been nice? For Kendalyn to have fallen, they must have been attacked by an absolutely overwhelming army. Unless the attack came from within the city walls? Oh, sorry, Cashew. I'm sure you have far more important things to do than listen to me wittering on. Thanks again. Take no thang. Yo, more medicinal herb. That's good for me. All right. Very nice. And then I can write properly stash all this business again. There you go. Uh, let's actually replace where that is. There you go. Eh, eh. All right, LaRouche. Well, hey, stop getting on the walls, you nerd. What's up? <laughs> You've gone and done it again, haven't you, Cashew? Building that furnace. How many times do I have to tell you? Should to keep this up, the monsters will bring their full force to bear on us. You're free to leave, my dude. And I don't just mean any old monsters. Should mankind grow too powerful, that ruinous beast will return to make short work of us all. In fact, I fear he may already be on his way. Cashew, do you think you could do me a favor? I've drawn up plans for a watchtower that will let us keep a watch over a far greater distance. I'd like you to build it just as I've designed. I'm sure that we've uh, that's well within the abilities of a builder like you. But please hurry. We may not have much time. Sure, I can build a watchtower. What's it look like? Oh, that's no big. I can just build it right here in the middle of town, in fact. Honestly, in the middle of the town is probably the best place for it. Ah, Ivy. Oh, my, 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 my. I see, I see, I see. Okay, all right. 
Let's see here. How will I go about making myself some of this noise? I'm going to need stairs and other such and sundries. All right. Four stone steps, four ivy, 29 earth. I gotta make a lot of that work. Let's see. Then I believe... Yep, all right. We'll start with one row of the stuff. I said one row of the stuff. Come on, be reasonable. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Like so. Very good, very good. And then put that there. Put that there. And then maybe put that there. Yeah, we put that there. All right. Nope, nope. Too tall, too tall. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, ah, I see, I see. Okay, all right, hang on. And we'll place that there. Very nice. And we'll... Okay, more monsters, apparently. As the monsters are known to do, then even more of this stuff, eh? All right. Even more dirt. Dang it. Wrong place for dirt. Eh, there we go. Okay. Now, where did I put all that ivy? There it is. All right, will I be able to even put this stuff... Adequately, I wonder. We're about to find out. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Yeah, now that's two ways to get up here. Nifty. All right. Now, if I could, and I sure would like to. Let's see, do I not have that? No more of the brick things. All right. Oh, wait, no, hang on. I need to finish this with earth first. If I change it to brick, it's gonna not count for some ungodly reason. There we go. I could have gone out and found one and stole it, but eh, making them's not that difficult. There we go, we'll just plop that there. And behold! A lookout tower. It's really more of a large mound that you can climb, but hey, it made him happy, I guess, so whatever. And put that there. There you go. There you go. All right. Now, where are you, LaRouche? Are you asleep? Yeah, I guess you are. All right. Uh, he thinks the... Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any places left for me to snooze. There are! There we go. I shall sleep here. I cannot be contained. Okay. Now LaRouche can get up and I can actually talk to him. I mean, I could've, I could've woken him up, but he's already kind of a really angry looking sounding dude. I didn't really want to bother him while he was napping. Ah, Cashew, you finally finished the watchtower. Yep, it wasn't too much trouble. Nah, it was pretty easy peasy styles. What, what, am I going to keep watch? I should think so. I'd want the first, I want to be the first to know if the fiend were on its way. Has Magnus told you that it was the golem he used to guard Cantalan that ultimately destroyed the city? If Cantalan and its people should rise again, the golem is sure to come back and finish the job. I've been told that story ever since I was a boy. That's my deep-founded paranoia, you see. Rollo told you that he... What he read in the Cantalan Chronicle, did he not? The only way this land can truly be freed from the darkness is by defeating the monster who rules over all the others. Make no mistake, Cashew. This ruler is none other than Cantalan's former guardian, the gigantic golem. We don't know what it's going to strike, but when it does, we humans won't stand a chance. Take it from me, Cashew. You should be prepared to flee at any moment. And some iron ingots for my trouble. Delightful. Thank you. All right, don't worry, Rolo. I'm going to talk to you in but just a single momento, okay? I just want to make myself something over here real quick. I'm sure you're aware. All right, I guess maybe in the furnace? No, I said the furnace, maybe? Let's see. Brick cladding for dirt walls into wall blocks. Yes, there we go. Don't have any idea how many of these things I'm going to need, but let's give it a go. I just feel like your watchtower is going to be more likely to be harder to break if it's made out of brick rather than dirt. There we go. Oh, well, how about that? That went way well. I didn't need most of these. All right, works for me. All right, there you go. That looks way better. I need grass seeds is what I need. There's too much, too much dirt and not enough foliage and grass. And some monsters are here because, of course, they are. All right, where are you at? Where are you at, demons? There you are. Just a bunch of run-of-the-mill skeleton, huh? Oh! Wow, they can equip stronger weapons now. That's pretty awesome. All right. And throw that away. All right, now Rolo! What am I gonna do with these damn evil idols? Are we ever gonna get around to that? What's the matter, Cashew? That's an awful frowny face you're wearing. 
Has LaRoche been filling her head with stories of doom and destruction again? That's kind of his thing, you know. Pay no attention to that grouchy gloom monger. You're not dead yet, my boy. Yet. And what's more, I've deciphered yet another chapter of the Cantalan Chronicle. It describes a staggeringly strong defense structure that used those evil idols you recovered. It's known as the Steel Stockade, and it will make our town nigh impossible for the monsters to breach. Here, Cashew, take this blueprint and build that Steel Stockade it depicts. Obviously, you'll want to build it on the west side of the city. You might need to knock down the old defenses to make space. I don't know how you'll build the steel doors that form the stockade centerpiece, but I'm sure you'll be able to work out something. Like, maybe just straight up know how to? Th yes, that would be really helpful. Yep, now I can make some steel doors. The strongest of doors. Alright, so you want me to destroy our current defenses to make a better defenses, huh? Alright. Didn't mean to use that. Alright, sledgehammer time! Okay, just give me all that you need. Oh, there you go. Really effective demolition work, I gotta say. I'm much better at breaking stuff than I am building stuff. <laughs> I don't know if I was really, you know, suited for this particular occupation, but it be what it be. All right. All right that is definitely an improvement. I'll just plop that down there. What are we looking at here? All right, some barricades, whole bunch of stone walls, sconces, evil idol, spike traps. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing it now. All right, well, that's why I decided to build myself some of that. I'm going to need more stone wall pieces. I'm going to need more spikes. I'm going to need all manner of stuff. Oh, boy. All right. I'm going to need more pointy things. Thank you. Much appreciation. I'm going to need... I don't remember how many I'm going to need. Let's go with 20, and if I have too many, oh, well. I'll just put them elsewhere, I guess. There we go. And some more stone walls. Like so. Let's uh, go with 80. Yeah, let's go with 80. That's a good idea. I'll always find a use for more of them if I don't got... I, what do you mean I ain't got enough materials? Absolute heresy. How dare you even imply such a thing? That's so much of this garbo that I most certainly do not have not enough, let me tell you. All right. More stone walls, please. Cheese. Okay, now I also need a steel door. There we go. Eh. There we go. All right. That might be everything that I need. Might not be enough. We'll find out real quick. All right, what are we looking at here? Uh, I need 10 of those. Eight. Okay, I was right on that. I was overzealous on the barricades. Do I have any more sconces? I should. I knocked a lot of them out of the <laughs> out of that one building, the, the pyramid. There you go. All right, yep, got that. All right, we should be good, I think, I think. Yeah, all right. We just also need those evil idols. There we go. All right, let's build this thing. Let us do this thing. Do you need even more on top of that? Oh, you sure as all hick and heck do. All right, that's going to be a thing. All right, well, let's start with that, I guess. All right. Then, like that. Like so. All right. Wow, even more, huh? Okay. Oh. And then like that. There, oh, I see, I see. All right, there you go. There you go. And let's just go ahead and only do part of that so I can more easily get myself where I need to be. There you go. All right. Easy peasy. All that good stuff. Okay, so we'll do that. And then, uh oh, hang on. Is that enough for you? No, it is certainly not. Not anywhere close. All right. And like so. Okay. And then we'll place this giant hunking door. There we go. That'll help. And then we'll do this. Oh, my, 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 my. You are asking for a whole lot of walls. Let me tell you, my dude. All right. And there you go. Ah, no. Come on. You knew what I wanted before I did it. You were just being contrarian. Most uncool. All right. And then, it's like that. There we go. Snazzy, snazzy. Uh, hmm. Let's see here. Huh. Okay. And then I'll just put that there so I can do that. There we go. Okay. That all the stones? It is. All right. Awesome. Awesome. And we'll just... Plop a bunch of these down, like so. There we go, lots of barricade. Okay, 
Now, sconces. Where are these sconces going? We need a sconce. Hmm. It seems about there-ish. There you go. All right. Now, as long as the monsters don't walk around this thing, we'll probably be in the money, no problem. Okay. Now for the spiky spikies. Like so. Very good. Okay. Well, you can't say that this isn't a substantially better defensive system than the one we had. The other one was literally just a wall with some spikes in front of it. This might actually impede a thing or two. Really? Okay. Um. How am I supposed to... You gotta be kidding me right now. Okay, cool. Absolutely fantastic. Eh. Wait, is that not where it's supposed to go? Oh. You know what? That actually makes a lot more sense. Why have it aimed in that direction when the idea would be to actually hit stuff with this stuff? There you go. That way, if it gets in front of the door, we're really doing this right now, huh? Okay. Ah! Come on! Was I supposed to put these things down first? What the hell? All right, hang on. There, that should... Come on, that should have been fine. Knock it off. Thank you. Jeez. So needlessly specific. Okay. Yeah. All right, okay. And no, not friend nor foe. That's, uh, that's probably some pretty important information to have. Okay, now. Eh, there you go. Ta-da! You got the feeling maybe you're supposed to build, like, a giant wall, like, around the entirety of this, and this is, like, yeah, the gate leading into it. Like, otherwise, why would there be a door here at all? I don't know. I really don't. By my bold and beautiful brow, you've completed the steel stockade! Now our city is safe from any attack. Three cheers for Kachu. Hip hip and all that. Yeah, but I don't want that. What? Is the stockade truly strong enough to keep the golem at bay? Don't you remember, Kachu? The golem was on our side. It watched over from the people in Candle and protected them from harm. I don't know what LaRouche is trying to convince you of, but there's no way that golem would ever harm us. Besides, it's unthinkable that a creature who once served mankind would become the leader of the monster's forces. And my hubris will not lead to my downfall. There's simply no basis to the silly story of his. He's doing nothing but stirring up unrest. It's people like LaRouche who hold back a city's progress, you know. You're gonna have to do something about him. Mm-hmm. But anyway, good work, Cashew. Our new defenses are second to none, bah ha So you say. So you say. All right, well, now what do you want? Cashew, my boy, our city is growing by the day. Some sort of decisive battle, uh, yes, yeah, some sort of decisive battle with the monsters must be brewing, don't you think? Now that we've finished the construction of the steel stockade, our defenses are nigh impregnable. Or are they? I must say, I'm not quite satisfied. Our fortifications could be a great deal stronger than they are now. Which brings me to my request. I think this time you put a little bit more work into this city. I think I have already gone above and beyond when it comes to that specific thing. A few new rooms would be a sorely overdue addition to our town, my boy. We could also do with overhauling our defenses to better fend off the monster's increasing fierce assaults. I won't bore you with all the particulars. You're the builder, after all. Just improve our town however you see fit. By my flaring nostrils! Marvelous work, Cashew. I didn't notice that you did all of this stuff until just this exact moment. Our city is growing in ever greater, but so are you. Now listen closely, my boy. I have big news. Within the Catalan Chronicles, I have found a description of the biggest and boldest offensive structure ever invented. It's called the Cantalan Shield. And if that isn't a majestic and awe-inspiring name, I don't know what is. If we had one of those, we could protect our home against anything. I'd even go so far as to say we could consider the reconstruction of Cantalan complete. However, while the Cantalan Chronicle describes the shield's function and appearance, the details of how to build it are sadly lacking. As it stands now, we simply won't be able to make the thing. But there is still hope. I can offer you a few clues as to its construction, but th they're sure to stir some ingenious ideas in that builder brain of yours. I know that one day you'll unravel the secrets of how to build the Cantalan Shield. All right, okay. Well, let me ponder on this. At least I got myself some steel ingots. Well, that's nice. Anyway, monsters are attacking! By my straining shoulders, Cashew, the monsters are preparing another assault. As I suspected, they see our town growing ever stronger and becoming more daring and desperate in their attempts to stop it. However, we're not yet ready to take on their leader. We must drive these monsters back to buy some more time. Cashew, my boy, are you ready for combat? As I'll ever be. Look at my armor and sword. I got it going. We know what's up. All right, let's go. Climbing the thing. All right, so let's see how this is going to go. 
Various monsters. Oh, there's the knights. All right, they're free to come over here. Oh, yeah. That's not going super great for them at all. They can't break none of our stuff either. Oh, yeah. And here even comes some Scorpanos. Oh, yeah. So far, I got to say, this is a pretty good defensive structure. Come on, I'm over here. Get over here and attack me. Oh, look at me. I'm so very, very scary. There you go. Get flash tried, you big nub nerds. It's hilarious that the weaker scorpion is the one who's not dead yet. Mostly because it can't fit itself in. There you go. All right. The leader of the monsters. All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to destroy everything, won't you? Most things, yes. All right. Well, that's a mild issue now, ain't it? Uh, could you maybe... No, no, he's going around. He's going around. No, no, no. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. Ow. Okay. I really would. Okay, that's what we wanted. I would much rather you not destroy my buildings because then I'd have to rebuild them. And man, that'd just suck. All right, there we go. I aim at thine ankles. Soon you will be torn asunder. Oh, God. Take that, nerd. Ha ha. Ankle slash. Oh, great. Now he's completely immortal. Only temporarily. You big dumb nerd gonna... Uh oh There you go. Who'd have thought his biggest weakness would have been an, a slight incline? Go figure, eh? All right, and just... There you go. All right, no more of that. Let me just put the spikes back down. And there you go. And I'm only slightly on fire. Go me. And a green teleportal. Nice. Woo! Nice and fancy. Oh, hello. I like the cut of your jib. Oh my, what is this wonderful place? It's so bright and warm. Oh, all accepting the cold look on your face, young man. Or perhaps not. Your face might be cold, but I can see the fire in your eyes. You want to know what I'm doing here this late in the day, don't you? There's no point to deny it. I can read you like an open book. This place looks like the perfect city, full of buildings and people and light. No roofs, but still. But the truth is, everyone who lives here seems awfully anxious. Personally, the only thing I feel is, is exhausted from walking all the way here. I hope you don't mind if I join you. My name is Chetty. I don't have any particular talents, but I'm a dab hand at being a woman of the world. I honestly thought that that was going to begin and end with, I have a dab hand at being a woman. And I was like, well, that's uh, less than impressive. But nope, nope, she's got more. Oh, oh great, more of these dudes. All right, casual murder, casual murder. Oh God, there's more. There's always more. All right, all right. Oh, look at you and your new outfit. Cute! Wow, Cash, you did an incredible job stopping all those monsters. Not only that, you found a new teleportal, too. Remarkable. Oh, and by the way, LaRouche told me what happened. It was the golem who crushed Cantalin into dust. If that's the case, then there's no doubt about it. The monster that rules over these lands is the same golem that guarded Cantalin. Cashew, do you know what this means? I can help! I can finally help! After all my years of wandering, I finally found a place where I can be of use. All right, how? Once, during my travels, I met an inventor who taught me how to build things called wrecking balls. If the golem were to attack us, something as powerful as a wrecking ball would be absolutely invaluable. Let me teach you how to make them. I've never been able to build one myself, so I can't wait to see if they work. All right, sure. Basically, high explosives. I like that style. All right. Eureka! And all that other stuff. All right, well, I've got that going for me, which is good. Let's see. I just need to... Toss away, eat some things, properly stuff things away. There we go. All right, put that away, and that, and this, and that, and that. There you go, and that. Okay. Also, holding onto these, don't need those. There you go. All right. Now, the green teleportal. Will it fit snugly right here? Oh, ding dang, it sure won't. All right, then we'll just have to rearrange these a little bit. That's no problem. How did you even get over there? Oi. I don't got time for you. I'm building stuff. Back off, nerd. Okay. Now, the red teleportal, you go there. And the green teleportal, you go here. There we go. A portal to another island has opened up. And the most important of the optional side quests is also there, too. And there's old Bluey. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see. Uh, oh, there's still an open place. Nice. More naps. All right, we're good. In fact, we might even get some more. Nope. 
I thought we might get some more memories. We did not. Fair enough. All right. What I would like to do, before I could even consider and imagine this place being complete, it's going to bug me if I never do. So what I need to find are Drakies. And over there, that happens to be a big old pile of Drakies. All right, Drakies. I require that you give me the thing that I'm looking for. All right, so far you're not doing that, and that's a real bummer. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's one. I'm going to need more than that, though. I need grass seeds. Get over here, you. Get get over here. I say, get over here. There you are. All right. Drakies. I wish to do battle. Oh, yeah. Man, the drop rate is not as high as I would really prefer it to be. And to the best of my knowledge, it's the only way to even get these things. All right, that's two. Two is better than zero. That much is basic math. And even one such as I is able to do that. Ow. All right, root. Root! Rude, 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 rude as hell. That is what you are. All right, up. Go up. All right, so far, only three. Only three. Up. Nothing. Come on, various Drakies. Reveal yourself to me so that I may smite thee and hopefully get grass seeds. You know, uh, ideally, you'd just give me the grass seeds. Like, I don't really have much of a desire to kill you all. That's not something I'm actually going out of my way to do. It's not a thing that I like to have to do to all y'alls, you know? Not a goal of mine. But, uh, apparently negotiations don't exactly work with monsters. At least not all monsters. Some are, some are civil. Not as, not enough, though, obviously. Alright, well, let's see how much progress I can make with just four of these things. I already know the answer isn't gonna be a heck of a lot, but... Oh, hey, five, alright. That's a little bit better. Just a wee bit better. Alright. I just want things to be a little less brown. Okay, let's see. Let's start here. Okay, there we go. Let's try to cover as much ground as we possibly can. And I mean that literally. There we go, put that there. Dang it! Oh boy, yep. Lots of tiny little patches here and there. That's all kinds of unfortunate. Oh boy. Okay, well, if that is the case, then let's just fill out some of those. Like that. There we go. Okay, it's better. It's better. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's jump through this right here, right now. Let us see. And, oh, yep, you certainly would. All right, hang on just a moment. I have a shovel. And I will be taking some of your flowers. Uh oh Okay, that was a little bit more than I had planned on taking. <laughs> Including some things I didn't actually want to take at all, but all right, there you go. What do you mean, no room? Get over yourself. Okay, let's see. Bomb rocks, oh boy. All right, there's another Navaglobe, which is good and great. I see you over there, bomb rock. All right, oh, ow, all right. Ow, all right, this is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Uh, all right. What if I don't want you to? Oh, ka me ka z no. And there we go. Whew. Also, it's kama ka z, not ka me ka z. All right. Anyway, luckily he gives you a very large amount of time to figure out that that's what he's doing, and to smash him up before it becomes a problem. Ooh, the clump of finest fur. Full plate armor. Nifty. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The thing is, if we want to build, whoa, if we want to build those wrecking balls, we need explosive components. And giant rocks that know how to blow themselves up is definitely, ow, a good way to start with that. Usually you're starting to explode by now? Goddamn. I wasn't moving out of the way because I was expecting at any given moment you would start trying to blow yourself up instead of trying to hit me. God. Why must you be this way, sentient rock man? I swear. All right, up, oh, none of that, none of that. All right, I don't think I will be able to do anything with this, but oh, ooh, I did, I made it work, very good. And bonk the rabbit, oh, all right, well that rabbit, that rabbit was almost long gone. Ow, God, you suck. All right, 
Then, I'd know not what this material be, but I say I need it! Oh wow, my hammer's not even strong enough. Okay, well, that's already a bit of a problem now, ain't it? Oh, it looks like I'm gonna need that war hammer, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to do much of anything. All right, well, we'll deal with that in due time, I suppose. Sentient rocks! Oi! Get out of here! Get out of here! Ow! God damn it! And yes, by the way, these are the same things that Geodude and Graveler and the like took inspiration from. Need those bomb shards! Thank you! All right, let's... Spin! Oh god, that didn't do nearly enough damage to be justifiable. Ow! All right, come on, come on, come on. Ow! God! Blow yourself up or something already! Thank you! So inconsiderate, these monsters, I swear. Bonk! All right. Just get myself one of those. Eat some mushroom skewers. There we go. All right. Aside from trying to get ourselves... Oh, now that I remember, the, the Wrecking Balls will be able to help us. Maybe we don't need to bother with, uh... Oh, boy. With actually getting that extra hammer. Although I would like it, obviously. All right, hey, here's an idea. How about I... Uh-oh. All right, well, let's just start smashing as fast as we can. Whoa! Thank you, Critical Hits. Thank you, Critical Hits. Nope. None of that. None of that. None of that. I need as many of these as I can possibly get. Here we go. Crits, 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 crits. Hey, thank you. Okay. Huh. You might think I'm being eh, overly, you know, cautious about how many of these things I get, but you have no idea how useful these wrecking balls really are. We need as many of them as possible because they will not only help me destroy monsters what good, man, they make mining stuff so easy. I mean, that is what dynamite was eventually, you know, originally created for. The purposes of mining. Uh, okay, I know I've got dirt. I don't have nearly enough dirt. Fine, I will take this clay instead. This will be the stuff that I use to build my way up to things. All right, hello. Anybody in here? Anybody or anything of value? Do I even have another hammer in here? No, once this thing's busted, I ain't got nothing. All right, I should probably be a little more careful of how I use what's left of it. All right, I hear somebody hip-hop bibbity-bopping around. What's that all about? Hello? Ain't this place all sorts of cavernous? It's like a right proper network over here. Fascinating stuff. All right. Well, I could go that way. What if I wanted to go this way instead? Mm hmm, what have you got to say about that, universe? Ah, I can't. Noted. Or maybe I can, and I won't let you stop me. And I was right to not give up on my dreams, for now I am here. All right. If you don't have it out, if you don't have a way out, make one. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we've got those dudes causing problems. Good for them. All right, well, the good news is I now have the means to not need clay anymore. There you go. All right, yep, you go ahead and do that, weird little ghosty dude. I've got other things to do. And wouldn't you know it, they don't involve you. Go figure, huh? Who would have ever guessed? Ow! All right, well. Your point has been taken, and it's very much unappreciated and unneeded. Nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. And all right, I found the edge of the universe yet again. Bit of a bummer, that. All right, come on, come on, come on. I know that there's something around these here parts for us. I just gots to finds it. All right, well, luckily I can fall. Woo! Ha-ha! My shin bones are fine. Go me. Let's see. You think maybe using my sword would have been a smarter idea? No, no. It's actually much worse. All right. But I do not have the hammer swings available to me to just casually use them right here and now. Not until I can build another one. The rock is angry, and I don't mean Dwayne. Oy. Although, I don't know, he could be angry too. All right, come on. Now, as soon as the daylight comes, I swear to you all, oh, I'll know all sorts of things, I dare say. All right, and up. 
I'm just gonna keep on building. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. I am unstoppable. Part of me feels like, oh wait, hang on, hang on, never mind, never mind. We just might be onto something here. I believe what I'm looking for might be around these here parts. I just know that it had to have been in the grassies. There it is! There you are, my little dude. You're the one I've been looking for. Wow, it's a human. My name's Splatrick. What's yours? Well, I'm Cashew. Cashew? What a great name! You look really cur cur too. Yeah, slime's talking puns. It's what they do. Not like me. To tell the truth, Chesh Cashew, I'm actually a really use oozlisk slime. I really like humans, and I want to be friends with them. But when I told my slime friends, they said I was a bad monster and a traitor to the Dragon Lord. And now they're not my friends anymore, and they bully me all the slime. Oh no, watch out, Cashew! The nasty slimes have come to get me! I'll murder them all! Die, demon spawn! I'll protect you! I have... Ah! Wow, man! There's a lot of them, and they are tankier than they have any business being. And they've got a mage unnecessarily helping them! Ah! Because of the night time! Oh wait, nope, the, the sun's coming up, so never mind. There we go, there we go, there we go! Cutting through, cutting through! Cut right through them! Like so, like so! Ah! Ah, man! Jeez! That was a lot of slimes that hated you for wanting to be yourself! Wow, Cashew, that was amazing! You splattered those slimes, it was nothing! Thanks for rescuing me. There are lots of scary monsters around here, so be careful, okay? Well then, Cashew, I suppose this is goodbye. My dude, no. It is time for you to come with me. What? You've built a great big city? And you'll let me live there too? Really, really, really? Good day! Thank you, Cashew! Alright then, let's get gooing! Yeah! That's what I needed! Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Where am I? Where, where, what? I am confused. Where are my chimera feathers, wings, things? I've got those. I know that I do. That's weird. Why are they not equipped? That doesn't make any dang sense. Alright then, hang on! I'll take you there right away! Let's go! And we have arrived. Welcome, my tiny gooey friends. May you enjoy your place here. It's a city slurp. And everyone else is just totally okay with them being here. Wow, this place looks great. Did you build this whole town yourself? More or less at this point, yeah. I feel pretty good about it. But Cashew, you know I'm a monster, right? Are you sure it's all right for an oozless slime like me to live here? Friggin' obviously. Huh? We're friends? You'll really be my friend? Gooray! Thank you, Cashew. You don't know how grateful I am. I want to make a friend with all the people in your town. I'm gonna talk to everyone right away. All right, fantastic. All right, so what else did I need for the giant explodey balls of murder and death? I believe I learned how to make them, yes, yes. Not from there, that wouldn't make any sense. Oh, all right, Pfft, weird that. Turns out, oh, that's all it takes, huh? All right then, I'll make as many of these as I can. 20 wrecking balls, that'll do. That'll do very nicely. Also, okay, hang on a second here. Yep, I, you got it, you got it. All right, what if I wanted to plant? There we go, just wanted to plant myself some flowers. Make this place look a little nicer, you know? There we go. All right. And uh, I sure wish I could put a little more greenery down. Well, eh, and put that there. There we go. That'll do for now. And we'll stash that stuff away for now. Just get rid of all of that. There we go. All properly arranged. Oh, wait. I want my bombs. Where are my bombs? I need my big, big kaboom booms. There we go. Oh, yes. That will come in handy. All right, you. That's incredible, Cashew. You made the wrecking balls just like I told you. I don't have the power to build, neither did the man who invented them, and yet somehow he knew how to do it. So nobody's ever actually been able to build one until now. But I knew you could do it. You're the legendary builder, after all. Cashew, my friend, the golem is coming for us. I know it. If we defeat him, we'll bring back the light to this land. But if we fail, Cantalin will be pounded into dust once again. I hope the wrecking balls will be of some help to you in that final battle. And I pray to the goddess that you emerge victorious. 
Oh, and by the way, they say that the golem's built like a brick outhouse. If I were you, I'd build at least 20 wrecking balls before I even thought about taking them on. Well, ain't that incredibly convenient? I happen to do just that I done did. Delightful. I'll just eat that too. There we go. Heal myself up. And get myself some mushrooms. All right. So... I'm not seeing any quests. Ah, there we go. Pippa! Oh, hello, Cashew. I don't know if you've noticed, but everyone's been acting really nervously recently. I asked Rolo what was going on, and he told me a ginormous monster is going to attack us at any moment now. All I want to do is build a city where we can all live together in peace. So why did it have to end up like this? Because the Dragon Lord's a jerkwad. Cashew, that monster's going to attack us. It's really powerful, isn't it? I know I shouldn't be bothering you at a time like this, but I'm really scared that someone's going to get hurt. Uh, which is why I was wondering, could you make some medicinal herb for me? Just five pouches? Please, Cashew, if you do me this favor, I won't ask you for anything ever again, I promise. Hold on a minute! It is! You got the pouches of medicinal herb I asked for! So, can I have them? Absolutely, my friend! To tell the truth, I made two pouches myself, so that makes seven pouches in all! And they're all for you, Cashew! NANI! What? If I were giving them to you, why did you ask, I ask you to make them for me? Well, it's just that you've been so busy building rooms and furniture and weapons for everyone else. You haven't had any, you haven't been taking any time to look after yourself. So I just wanted you to make something to keep yourself healthy in the last big battle. You're a good gal, Pippa. Oh, and Cashew, do you think you could build that cancel and shield thing Rolo was talking about too? No matter how horrible the monsters might be, I don't want to have to fight them. But on the other hand, I'd be sad if the town you worked so hard to build for us got destroyed. So please, Cash, you've got to work out how to build the Cantal and Shield to protect our city. All right. I'll really think of this through. I'll figure something out, probably. Just... Oh, hang on. Hang on. I think I got it. All right. Can be retrieved by pressing A. It's a big old hunk of shield. All right. So how do we make ourselves one of those? We're going to require Oracolium and Golemite. I see. All right, well, I believe I might know how to get at least one of these things. Let's see here. I just need to look for anything shiny, shimmering, splendid, and all that good stuff, and we'll be good to go. This big ol' kaboom boom will be all that we need, I dare say. All right, I remember there possibly being one over yonder? Something to that effect. I need as much of it as possible. I'm also going to need to find Golemite! So, uh, not 100% sure where we're going to find golems to attack. They're somewhere, surely. Oh, dang it! Alright, come on, come on, come on. Alright. Now, where's the shinies? I require the biggest of shinies. Get the overwhelming impression that I've already made a bit of a mistake, but that's okay. Up top! Fire in the hole! There we go. And a whole pile of garbage, too. Ain't that delightful. All right, hang on. Still didn't make myself another one of those. That was a bad idea. Oh! Fire in the hole times two! There we go. So far, so grand. Oh. Now, if I could find me some golems to do myself... Wait a moment. Wait a moment, I dare say I might remember a golem. In fact, I think I remember seeing one and realizing that I didn't want to mess with them. Yes. All right, well, before I right properly move on, also apparently there was a new quest and I didn't even know it. All right, hang on. Let me check something real quick. It was rock bomb shards. Yep, so I'm gonna need more of those. By my booming baritone, Cashew, you've done it. You've unraveled the secret of the Cantalan Shield. Now we can build the legendary defenses of the Cantalan. We'll be ready to even the most brutal of assaults. We've come so far together, Cashew. Many a sleepless night have I been spent struggling and often failing to decipher the Cantalan Chronicle. But now our struggles are very nearly at the end. Go, my boy, and build the Cantalan Shield. It's the biggest and boldest bulwark described in the Cantalan Chronicle, and will let us weather the coming storm. When you're ready, I'll tell you where the materials can, they, that go into it can be found. Come speak to me, yep, and gird your loins, all that good stuff. All right. To build the barrier, two vital materials are required. The first is Oricarium, a brightly shining metal that is often found encased in obsidian. You'll find it in the rock bomb ravine through the green teleportal. Second, you'll find Golemite. Those can be recovered from the shattered remains of stone golems. You'll find those in the damper desert, just as I thought. All right, so I just need both of those. 
Noted, noted, noted. All right, that said, let's see, how much do I need? I only need three golemite. All right. The thing about the Cantalan shield is you could pick it up and push it back down. So basically it's a huge honking shield that you can actually like place. And then once it's like blocked the attack, you can pick it back up. That's at least the impression that I was given. All right. I've also got, you know, high explosives and all that good stuff. And any damage that befalls the town, I can always repair. It'll be fine. All right. So where, oh where, oh where will I find ye? That's what I really would like to know. Hup, hup, hup. I say hup, I say hup, I say hup. Ow, my legs. Except not really. I'm fine. I already talked to you, little hammerhood. I do not need to mess with you anymore. Although, hey. Does scorpion guy want to maybe drop his singer? No? All right. I dare to dream. All right. Where are you, various golems? I wish to do you a murder. I need your, I need your inner parts. And all that jazz, you know how it be. A lot of cactus stuff, that's fun. Alright. I wonder, I wonder how long it'll take me to find what I'm looking for. Alright, well, let's find out. Hey, there's some golems. Damn, they're freaking gigantic too. Alright. Be that as it may, at least nighttime is about to finally end. Felt like that one went on forever. All right, whoop. You go ahead and keep on punching. You keep on being a punchy goal. What are you trying to run away? Uh, ow. Running away is not an option. And he didn't even have the decency to drop the thing that I wanted. Ah, oh, could you really doing this? All right, fine. You know what? Why, why are you running away? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Great, now I got a bunch of crap here that I don't even want. Why would, what was the point of that? There you go. <laughs> That'll do it. Okay, that definitely took care of that. However, I refuse, and I say refuse to not do the bonus side quests around these here parts. Somewhere around here are two hammer hoods trying to make a damn garden. I just don't know where, but I'm gonna find them, dang it. Of that I assure. Just give me a second here. Oh, hang on. Huh. Looks like my, it's my, my, my wandering about has finally paid off. Yep, there's even ground for me to walk on. All right, but how far does it go? Is this a peninsula? It's a peninsula! We've got this! All right, here we go. All right, here we are at long last. Okay, well, this is not the garden at all. Huh, this is something else entirely. Okay, well, well, well. What brings a human to my little island? You got a lot of guts, guts, guts to come out here on your own, boy. I'm not one of your wimpy hammerhood friends. I'm a big bad brownie and we hate humans. Now get out of my sight. But what if I didn't? Uh, hold on, human. You didn't come all the way to pay your respects to your dead, dead, dead human friends, did you? Because if that's what you want, I can teach you how to make gravestones for them yourself. But don't get the wrong idea. I still hate you humans. So listen up, because I'm only going to tell you once. All right, sure. And then he told me. Thank you. Gravestones. Neat. All right, well, that is something that I needed. But that is not what I wanted. That's half of a bummer. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad that I got this, because it's required for the other side mission that I can't find. But, I digress. Why won't you guys ever drop what I want? Ever! Give me grass seeds, dang it. Ugh. Alright, well, it's a step in the right direction. Just not the direction that I had originally planned for. Alright, the search continues. Maybe I'll head that way. That might work. Okay. It took a long ass time, but I think I finally found something that I was looking for. Here's the major problem. I was through the red teleportal the entire time when I needed to be through the blue one. That is where I, what I was looking for could be found. Thank God for that. Oh, okay. Hello there. Hello, human. Honestly, would you look, look, look at the beautiful garden he's got there? It takes me right off. It really does. Me and him are competing to be head gardener of Hammerton Heights. But at this rate, I couldn't, I don't stand a chance. Clubberina sent us a challenge to put, put, put together a garden. He's already finished. 
Could you help me out, human? I've tried bashing them and whacking them and giving them a good clobber, but the plants just won't stay in one piece. He must have some secret way of pick, pick, picking things up and putting them down again without them falling apart. If you can figure out this secret, then help me make my garden look, look, look just as like his. Yeah, if you talk to him, he might tell you how to make a shovel. Also, hi, weird mimic thing. God, how annoying you are. Hello, human. What do you think of my garden? I've heard about you from Clubberina. You're the builder, right? The one with the power to build, build, build new things? I bet you could throw together something like this before I could blink, blink, blink. Of course, if you wanted to be a gardener, you're going to need a shovel first. You could use a shovel to dig up flowers and plant without break, break, breaking them apart. Then just plonk, plonk them down and ground it, stand, stick a fence around them, and bam! You're done. Of course, none of this helps if you don't know how to make a shovel. Right, right, because I already knew how. All right, so basically, what we're looking at here... And let's see. Cool, thank you for that. All right, store, all this business, whatever, it's fine. All that good stuff. Okay, now, I need plant stuff. I need this, I need this, I need this, and I'm gonna need this too. Okay, so I wanna make that look like this, basically. So, first things first, we are going to put that there. Very good, very good. Uh, looks like I'm already missing something here. Hang on, was it, is it this? I don't think this is what this is. Oh no, it totally is. All right, that works for me. Okay, then, what do you mean not enough space? Oh boy, okay, uh, well. And we'll do that, okay. Well, that's not good, because I don't think I have another one of those. Yep, I sure don't. Oh, fantastic. All right, do I even have another one of those? Yeah, I have one of those. Okay, well, that's great, but I'm missing the thing that I need now because of one wayward sword slash. Fantastic. All right, well, let's at least finish everything else up first, right? Right, okay. Get rid of that, and then I think like, there you go. That's about as tall as you needed that one to be, right? Okay, then what we'll do, I'll get the hammer. And then just bonk that one. There you go, all right. Like that, okay. So then, all I'm looking for here is, okay, well hang on, I need one of these. Okay, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Great. Great, okay. Um, hmm. Not what I wanted in the slightest. Thank you for that. God! Ah! Okay. Here, you know, I just had an idea. What if I just straight up steal from you? Is that an option? I I'm gonna try. No, no it's not. Of course it's not. I also don't have any idea how to get yellow flowers. Life is pain. Aha! All right, so good news. I went to the other desert lands and I was able to get another one of those cactuses and another one of the things that'll give us yellow flowers. And on top of everything else, I found the other side quest. Hello, human, I've heard about you. You're that cashew boy, 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 everyone's been talking about. I've been trying to fix, fix, fix up this graveyard for all the poor little humans who lost their lives in Ketalin. But the place is such a mess and I don't know how to build new gravestones to replace the ones that have fallen apart. If you're as good as they say you are, cashew, maybe you could work out how to do it. There's a brownie who lives near the Dondar Desert who will be able to build a nice little graveyard of his own. And, you know, maybe he knows how to build gravestones. And I did that. If you could ask him how to do that, then you could do that. And you could come here and then you could do this. And everything will be great and great. And I made way too many gravestones. I had no idea how many of the ones that I actually needed to make. All right, well, be that as it be. There. I did it. And I don't care about Skeleman, all right? Get out of my house. See you life. Thank you. You good? Wow, you did it, Cashew. The graveyard looks as good, good, good as new. So that's how you put gravestones in place. It's also obvious now. I should have used my hands, not my hammer. Yeah, funny that. You know, Cashew, when I was just a baby hammer hood, I got lost in the damn Darab, damn Darab Desert. Ugh. And I thought I was going to starve to death. But I was rescued by a friendly human who carried me back, back, back to Cantalin. Ever since then, I've been looking for a way to repay you a lot for saving my life. I couldn't stop the monsters from attacking you, but I realized I could honor the ones that didn't survive by giving them a proper burial. So many people have died. I don't know how long it'll take me to bury each and every one of them. But we Hammerhoods live a long time compared to you humans. I'll make sure you all rest, rest, rest in peace someday. 
Thank you, Cashew. You've given me one more reason to like, like, like humans. Nice. All right. So, if I could just not. I don't have any. Ah! Fine. God damn it. Everything's got to be such a pain. Eh. I'll just slam jam my way to progress. Eh. Eh, like that. Like that. And there goes my. Oh, okay. I thought I broke my hammer, but I didn't. Almost there! Ha! Okay, now I'm back up here. Now I just gotta go back over to that garden, and we are aces. Okay, now I just need to not screw this up. I could definitely still manage it. Alright, there's that. And then... Just put that there. Ah! Okay, you should be good, yeah? Well, have you found out how the hammer hood makes his garden grow? Uh, what? How is this not good enough? How is this not good enough? Oh no, oh no, oh no, okay, well, this isn't good. Okay, stop it, stop it. Uh, oh, oh, okay, I see what the problem is. Okay, I can fix this, I can fix this. Please, please, no, ah! Okay, then I just put that there. There we go, okay. Die, 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 die. Thank you and good day. Wow, our gardens look exactly the same now. Thanks, human. Now that I've completed Cabarina's task, I'm still in the running for the head gardener job. And maybe I should tell you how to make a shovel, huh? What do you mean that's cheating? Just because I didn't make it myself? Oh, come on, you don't have to worry about a little thing like that. Don't be such a stick, stick, stick in the mud. Eh, you're not gonna tell Cabarina, are you? Here, I'll give you this amazing piece of furniture I made. Just don't tell on me, okay? I obtained a bench. Ow, all right. But, um, why do I recall getting something other than a bench? Well, would you look at that? That's quite a garden you put together there. If I'm not careful, Clobberina will pick, pick, pick you to be the head gardener. Huh? What do you mean it's nothing special? <laughs> That's exactly the sort of thing that Clobberina likes. If you like, I'll give you a copy of the blueprint for a hothouse that she wants me to build, build, build in our village. Obviously, since you're not a hammerhood, you'll never really become the head gardener of Hammerton Heights. But if you build, build, build this blueprint, at least you can pretend. Thank you. All right, now we just chuck that, and this, and that, and this, and that. Just chuck all this stuff in here. Here we go. All right. Now, if I could just... Hammerton Hothouse. All right, I'm also going to go over here, and I'm going to grab me my Navaglobe back. Thank you very much. All right. Joke's on you! Ow! All right, joke's on you. I don't want to bother fighting you. I'm out. Absolute kadonkus. Okay. Damn, that was a thing. 